All right, all right, all right. We are doing a new ECU flash today. As you can see, it is the Lincoln Navigator. This thing features the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, just like in the Ford Raptor, pushing out 450 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque, and this thing is loaded. So, this vehicle will benefit greatly from the ECU flash, well, because it's massive. And if you want to tow stuff like your Razor, your Can-Am, or your race car, doing an ECU flash on the Navigator and getting that horsepower increase and torque from the tuning will be a dramatic change to driving this vehicle. So with key in hand, dyno ready, we're going to take this over and we are going to do a baseline test. So we can see how much horsepower this puts down stock. We'll get our tune on there and we'll retest it again and have some good results for the Lincoln Navigator here at Vivid Racing. I got the navigator here on the dyno. Just so you can see, this is the same 3.5 liter EcoBoost you can see right here. We could even put any cold air intake on it. It's got the same exact setup here. So a little dress different to the engine cover. Other than that, this is a Ford. So now we're gonna strap it down. Most important thing here, we're gonna do three tests. The three tests will give us a good average to make sure our baseline number is consistent. And from there, then we'll do the ECU tune. Now, when you do an ECU flash, you're gonna change things as boost, fuel, timing, torque limiters, throttle response, and some other features. In fact, in this one, we might even be able to do the auto start stop off, which is a pesky thing that many Ford Raptor, Ford F-150, and Lincoln Navigator owners do not like. Now you got the basics of what the Navigator is here for, so let's strap it down and we'll do our runs. All right, you guys know the drill here. We've got it strapped down, so now, you gotta get in, calibrate it. I'm gonna calibrate this thing, uh, I believe fourth gear. And we're gonna do that 3000 RPMs. And then we'll start our test, 2500 RPM to red line. So jump in and get this testing started. All right, just finished doing the runs. 
Let's see what we got for results. This is the baseline test here. And we did three, we actually do several tests because the navigator, well, it's really hard to dyno. There's no dyno mode. It really doesn't want to stay in gear, even switching with the uh, paddles. So we're able to kind of do a roll in again, fourth gear. So we've got some good baseline numbers to go off. So let's check these out. All right, here you go. We've got the red is our horsepower, blue is torque. Now we've done three runs here and again, rolled into it. So we did about six total runs. So we do have a little bit of heat soak going on. The solid line is our first, that's actually the run three. Uh, so we saw about a peak horsepower of 313 all wheel horsepower, uh, run two, 303 and run three, 297. Our peak torque was 367. Our peak torque for run two was 349 and finally 342. So we're seeing about an average of 300 to 310 all wheel horsepower doing it as a baseline. Now we've done the baseline dyno. We're actually gonna do a zero to 60 test. We can do that here on the dyno. So very simple, get in, wait till the tree turns green and hammer down. Let's do this. Okay, so we've done two more tests. One was 8.72 and this other one was 8.22. So it appears the EcoBoost is definitely getting heat soaked. Why wouldn't it? We're sitting here, stand still, running it, got a fan on the intercooler. But we're gonna do one more test and we're gonna do the quarter mile just for fun and then we'll do the ECU flash. Okay, we actually just did a quarter mile run here on the dyno. That was super fun and weird, same time, but we've got decent results for the baseline here. We've got a quarter mile time of 15.8. I saw a top speed of about 88, 90 miles an hour. 60 foot, 2.5, eighth mile, 10.1, and reaction time, 0.8. So, not bad. Now, ECU tune goes in, and then we'll rerun all these tests again. The Navigator, much like the Ford Raptor, we're able to do the ECU flash with our OBD2 device. So you can flash between tuned in stock at your convenience, in your garage, at your work, fully custom ECU flash. So we are going to then load the file right now to the truck.
All right, the ECU flash has been completed. You can see how fast and quick that was. Very easy. And we just did that with the basic Windows laptop. So turning the uh, program off, ECU is done. We're gonna fire up the car, make sure everything works, and we'll keep running some tests. Now that the flash is in the truck, we're gonna do our after down runs, see what our performance gains are. Then we'll do some of the fun stuff. We'll do the zero to 60 and the quarter mile runs as well. So time to jump in and we'll do our three runs. Again, fourth gear, 2,500 RPMs to 5,500 RPM. Not bad first run as we let the ECU adapt. We've got about 40 horsepower and about 40 foot pounds of torque. So we're gonna do again, three runs. We should see this thing start to climb. All right, we got the ECU adapting nicely. We're at 345.5 and 390 foot pounds of torque. So it is adapting and increasing power. We're gonna do one more run here to see what our final average will be. All right, so the VR tune results are in. We've got up here the graph. Solid line is our tuned run, red horsepower, blue torque. Dotted line is our baseline. And these are some pretty good results. Much like the Raptor with the 3.5 EcoBoost, we've got a ton of torque here down low. In fact, here at 3,700 RPMs, we see about 315 to almost 415. So 100 foot pounds of torque gain. That stays pretty consistent from around 3,000 RPM to about 4,500 RPM. Horsepower, again, in the middle there, we've got that big gain. So about 3,400 RPMs, we're seeing about 210 to 215 and up to 275, so 60 all wheel horsepower. That continues on through the curve, same about 4,500 RPM. And then we taper off to the very top because of airflow. Uh, and we've got about a gain of 30 horsepower. So much like a Raptor, you do down pipes, you put an intake and you do an intercooler, this thing will really, really come alive. Overall, great results with our VR Tune ECU flash. Now for the fun stuff, we're gonna do a couple zero to 60 runs and the quarter mile test. So that zero to 60 run was 7.48. Previous to that was 8.22. So that's not bad. We got over a half second increase from the VR tune flash. We'll do one more to make sure we're consistent. Zero to 60 test number two complete. 
we have actually improved the navigator almost 0.8 of a second faster for the zero to 60. That's huge with this beast. Hope you guys enjoyed our VR Tune ECU flash video today on this Lincoln Navigator EcoBoost. Was a blast, did really well, everything just as planned. Again, this ECU flash is something that you can do in your garage. You just buy the cable from us, we send it to you, and boom, you've got that much more power. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks, we'll see you at the next one.